This video is brought to you by Power Performance Products, where you can get $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects. Spencer Lazara, MMA Interviews, alongside Victoria Cisco Rivera. We're just a uh, day after his win here at UFC 156. Obviously a tough first round there. You persevered through it, managed to uh, hurt Figueroa and get the knockout there. Talk us through the fight. Yeah, it was tough. You know, the first round he caught me with a left hook. I didn't see it and I dropped. And next thing you know, I was on my back and trying to, you know, s s stay in control and, and control his posture. Before, and then uh, come back to the second round and I got the, I got the knockout. Yeah, you were. I mean, it seemed like you weren't really hurt though. Your eyes were all there right right away. He didn't even hit you with a shot on the ground, so no chance of that ever coming to a stoppage on on his behalf. No, it wasn't that bad. It was just like a little flash, you know, flash, unseen punch, and uh, you know, I was on my back, and I just had to recover. Seemed like your movement obviously got better coming into that second round. What did Master Cha say to you in between rounds? Yeah, I just I asked him what he caught me with, and he was just like, "Oh, he caught you with the punch." I thought it was a kick. I didn't I didn't know what it was, and then uh, I re I recomposed in my corner and I talked to my coaches, and they they told me to come out in the second round, do a little more movement, a little head movement combinations, and I caught him. He was already starting to drop his hands early in the second, even especially after you made your way up, after he caught the kick and took you down. He especially seemed to be fading. Did you feel that and want to push the pressure, especially at that moment? Yeah, I always push the pressure no matter what. He can drop me a million times, and I'm always going to keep coming forward and pushing pressure. And I could tell his hands and, and combinations were dropping, and he was he starting to look like he was gassed out. So I had to put the pressure and throw my combinations and catch him. When did you, did you feel like it was a good stoppage? Oh, it was perfect stoppage, you know. Um, I could, I thought she could have stopped it earlier, but you know, she stopped at a good time, and uh, I, I, I felt him go down as soon as I hit him with the last punch. I knew it was over after that. You were tense and a little bit tired, even collapsed on the ground there. Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I felt him limp after a good combination, so I knew I had to finish it. I gave him a hundred percent of my right hand, everything I had, the four or five punches, and and I knew it was the ref was going to stop it, and she did. Where does this victory rank in your career? Obviously, there was a time when you were thinking about retiring and not coming back to the sport, and here you are now, three more wins in the UFC now. Yeah, definitely. You know, it should put me up top ten. I hope, you know, hopefully the UFC plays this and then they show it so the world can see. You know, I'm a top bantamweight, definitely top five heaviest bantamweight hitters in the world. So hopefully, you know, it puts me up in the ranks. And I just want to climb the ladder and get that gold belt. Goyito, a Mexican fighter, there's a lot of talk about tough Mexico happening, and he's a guy that you are kind of seem like you're on a collision course regardless of the tough Mexico thing. Do you agree? Yeah, definitely. He's on a three-fight win streak in the UFC, and so am I. So, you know, I mean, if they want to do a tough Mexico, I would love to do it, especially with him. You know, I think we're top bantamweight prospects in the in the Latin community. So it will bring, 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 a, bring a big crowd, uh, and uh, that would be nice to do. It was nice to show a little bit of ground in this fight, too. You had a nice, some nice trips, take down uh, in the side mount there. Eric Paulson was probably enjoying himself watching that. Yeah, definitely. You know, I had to work a lot on my wrestling for this camp. You know, I, uh, my Muay Thai coach is, was hurt during camp, so I couldn't really, you know, focus on that too much. I had to make sure I, I, I had my wrestling perfect just in case and, and showed in that fight I had a few takedowns. Anything else you want to say, Cisco? Uh, no, thank you, Spencer, for, for following me during fight week, and um, hopefully you guys tune in to, to see the f final finish on on what I had uh, prepared for UFC 156, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next, next fight. Yeah, we have a great fight week feature. I need to do some serious editing, but you guys are going to really enjoy it, so tune in to MMA interviews for that, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.